Now that we are approaching summer, sunscreen is a must have. There is a debate though over the spray on versus lotions, specifically whether one works better than the other. Brandon Lewis verifies that for us. Walk into your favorite store and you'll see a wall of choices to protect your skin from the sun. A Verify viewer texted us asking about the difference between spray-on and lotion sunscreens. So let's verify. Are spray-on sunscreens as effective as lotions? Our sources are Harvard Health and two board-certified dermatologists to explain it's all about how you apply sunscreen. I think it's easier with the lotion to make sure that you're getting full coverage. With a spray, you, not, you may not be as careful. So the, that is a consideration with the spray. Dr. Rajani Kanta also says, despite the advertising, you can't simply spray and go. I recommend that you spray and then you make sure that you rub it in so that you're not missing any of those, you know, you're not missing any spots. Harvard Health found when spraying, most people apply just a quarter of what they need. Researchers recommend spraying each area for up to six seconds. You know that you have enough when your skin glistens. If it's not glistening, you gotta put more. But Dr. Danilo Del Campo says that doesn't mean sprays, when used properly, are any less effective than lotions. Between a lotion that has SPF 30 and a spray that's SPF 30, they are equivalent. However, the difference is how do we apply it and the method that we apply it. So we can verify, yes, spray on sunscreens are as effective as lotions. However, they may be more difficult to use correctly than lotions. The doctors also say parents may want to use lotions for their children because it's harder to spray a good coating when kids are squirming around. With your Verify, I'm Brandon Lewis. Want something verified? Email us or send us a text. For more Verify stories and to sign up for our newsletter, go to verifythis.com.